Today, we will go through how to get started with the N6700 series modular power supply. I'm Brian Whitaker, your product marketing engineer here at Keysight. And I'm Daniel Bogdanoff, a test gear geek here at Keysight. And Brian, I'm excited. I've never gotten to use one of these or even touch one until right now. So I'm excited to pull it out and get going with it. Yeah, they are pretty sweet. We're gonna walk you through five things today. First, we'll unbox the N6700 and actually install a module. Second, we'll show you how to best rack mount the unit. Then we'll go through how you can program the unit using Keysight's free command expert tool. Then we'll show you how you can protect your DUTs. No one wants a damaged DUT during testing. Then we'll show you how to pick the best modules for your application. Keysight offers over 35 modules, so you can pick and choose modules that offer different performance levels as well as different capabilities. So you can really customize the box for your application. So 35 is a lot. I imagine you're just choosing kind of voltage current ranges. Uh, you, there are also differences in terms of accuracy, programming speed. Uh, we offer, for example, an electronic load module, which we'll showcase. So there's, there's a great variety. Well, I'm anxious to open up the box. So okay. maybe we start there. Let's get started. So talk me through what's in the accessories box. Sure, absolutely. So first we have the, the power supply. And that's just a power cable. Yeah. And then another package. Then we have the calibration certificate here. Then we have an extra connector as well as an Allen wrench for unscrewing the box. Then we have some uh, safety documentation. Then we have a license for the Benchu Basic app, which you can use to connect to and control the power supplies. Sweet. All right. There we go. Next up. Module? Yep, next, let's go ahead and insert our module. There are four modules that we're gonna install. Let's go ahead and start with the source measurement unit. First though, we have to remove this panel uh, and there are five screws. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this metal plate comes off. Here you go. Thank you. Now let's install the SME module. Now you install the module straight down you can see a 26 pin connector there, and then there's two metal prongs that help guide in the module. Now let me just install it straight down. Voila. All right. Couple yeah. screws. Couple screws. Oh yeah, there's the screw cup right there. Give me a couple screws. And now let's go ahead and install the other modules. So now we're installing a high performance auto raging module. So that's just a normal power supply? Yeah, normal power supply, but it's really focused on enhanced throughput. Okay. Right? And then we have the N6762A precision module. Okay. Very precise measurement capabilities. It's like the voltage and current to a high degree of precision. Yeah. Yes. And now we have an electronic load that we can install. So a big fancy resistor, basically. Yes. Okay. So we're loaded up. We got the plate in. Are we ready to put it in a rack? Almost, almost. Got one last important thing to do. 